marker? No, oh, it's not a marker. It's it just, I don't know what it is. Can you just grab the corner and get out. Get out, get out, get out. Sorry about that, we didn't see you there. Uh, Sorry, didn't mean to give you a yeah. scare. Hi Broadway World, I'm Ben Jackson Walker. Uh, and I'm Philippe Arroyo. I think, I think we're ready for you guys? Yes, please, come in. Just come, come in. in. We right would love that. Please. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. To... Oh, not before the show. Oh, of I course. Never, I could of never. Of course. So we'll just hold this and look fancy. Yeah. What was the question? <laughs> All right, Broadway world, come with me. I'm gonna give you a little tour of uh, everything we got here. But first, I want you to see um, on my left, I have Nicolas Cage. Um, this was actually, not this actual pillow, but a replica of this pillow was in the first casting office where I ever got my first job, which was a, a guest star in the last episode of Orange is the New Black. And this Nicolas Cage pillow was sitting there and so I got him as a, a good luck charm. And now all I need to do is really just caress his face and then I have good luck whenever I step into this building. <laughs> this is really cool. We have a, um, a guitar that was actually given to us by Sam Ash Music. And it came as like this Anne Juliet pink color. And so I bedazzled it. I took it even further. And you know, we got, we got Britney here, if you can get a little close up on this. Uh, we got all these stickers that were actually made and designed by our very own Justin David Sullivan. These are really cute. And there's, it's of course bedazzled and rhinestoned because um, it has to be. We have some of the little fan gifts that we've received over the time that we've been here in the show. Um, this is my dream role. Little shops if you're out there. Uh, I'm looking to be a Seymour one of these days. And then we got um, a bobblehead from the Pop franchise of uh of francois over here we got some lego flowers this is this is a romeo bobblehead which i love this is our, our book writer uh, david west reed of schitt's creek fame um gave us this these all these little bobbleheads we each got one so if you see up here philippe has one too he's so cute look at us yay mr stark sands got us these uh the pop dolls you might have seen these at your local uh target but yeah, we uh, we have ones for us in the cast. So this is this is me, which is great. I have highlights. You can see it, just like in real life. This is one of my favorite birthday gifts that I've ever received. Don't know why I have it, but you know, I hold I held on to it for ten plus years. There's a lot of things that have been sent to me. Our fans are amazing, and um, let's see if I can show you a few of them. Uh, I have this wonderful doll that was given to me that is like absolutely incredible. They like got the jacket absolutely right. It's like really well done because this is the actual jacket I wear in the show. And it's this amazing, um, you know, Montague like biker jacket. This is like a leather jacket with the sleeves cut out and has this amazing heart with all the safety pins. And this person got the jacket like exactly correct. And it also looks like a voodoo doll, kind of. So it's kind of it's kind of scary. I got this award. It was for the sexiest larynx on Broadway because I don't know if anyone knows this. Uh, I got a vocal surgery last year, and I felt very insecure about it. But I was gifted with this to make me feel a little better. So now I feel that my voice is the sexiest on Broadway. So yeah, my routine for getting ready for this show. You would think I have a lot of time to get ready, uh, but I really don't because I have to walk across the stage during the third number in the show. Uh, baby one more time and I so I have to get ready at the very top with everyone else I can't just relax and sleep my couch but it actually I have it done to a science now where I can get it done in five minutes if I need to but really all I do is put a little brow on a little eyeliner and then I put my costume on and that's it. oh I do my hair if it's been a bad hair day I do my hair but Literally everyone else in the show would kill me because it takes them probably like the majority of our half hour to get ready And it takes me five minutes It's one of the perks of being Romeo <laughs> Also something really fun is uh, me and Philippe's dresser Eric Strauss is an incredible interior designer And he does all these things by himself And so he helped us put up this like beautiful fringe and this gorgeous navy blue curtain And so yeah, I just come back here and I feel I feel calm and I feel relaxed and I have a cigar.
because that's what I do. Just kidding, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think like it was really until maybe like halfway through our first year here with Anne Juliet that like we started to really make it feel like a home. And because I mean, we spend, yeah, we got this like fringe going on that um, our dresser Eric Strauss helped us put up. Um, but it's super important. I mean, I spend so much time here during the show. Sometimes we get here early. We spend time between shows. And, you know, sometimes we, we stay on a Saturday night and we hang out with everyone. And, you know, it's it truly feels like yeah. my second apartment in New York City. Sometimes I'm more excited to be here than my actual house. I, I really did set it up that I, you know, when I'm not he when I'm not at home, I, I have my video games here. I have I do a lot of work here. I used to do a lot of writing here. I do tons of napping right here, especially in between shows. That's true. A lot of meditating, a lot of journaling. So it, it has really become, I think, a, a second home for me and just a place that I, I look forward to go throughout my day um it, it it all leads here it all leads always leads back here cheers that's what we'll cheers to, that. to. Cheers. cheers to that darling broadway world thank you so much for taking this dressing room tour with us thank you for being here with us thank you for being a part of our journey yes and, uh, to that we say cheers stay classy broadway world to you <laughs> <laughs>